Gentlemen, I already gave you first instructions of the dressing room. Do you have any questions? That's your blocks and come back with the belt. Good luck. Many. Lucero gets low and tries to get to the body. Swings wide, but with force. Pacquiao, and, and Pacquiao said, oh, no, no, just a couple of beer bottles that broke, apparently without help. Well, if you read between the reports, which I'm quite sure we did, I believe there's some truth to some of that. Lucero, Lucero. He's having a problem getting close to Lucero, but Lucero's getting so low, but then he can't operate too effectively himself from that position without telegraphing. Now Pacquiao manages to land a straight left hand. And operate too effective himself in that way. No, it's impossible to mount a counter offense when, when that's your defensive strategy is to, to get that low. That's right, and I think Packers are starting to get his just, uh, distance on it now. We've been trying to shoot his left uppercut now as he sees him going down. Lucero, increasingly defensive, hasn't thrown that many punches in the second half of the round. As we go to the corners, there will be interpreters in both. Major fighter. CompuBox numbers in round one. Pacquiao landing 16 out of 64, including seven of 29 jabs. Lucero was only five of 41. If Manny can keep finding a way to throw nearly. Pacquiao taking advantage of a slow break at the end of that clinch to hit Lucero with a left hand over the top. Seems to have momentarily stunned Lucero. Now Pacquiao tries to continue the. Body shot by Pacquiao and a big left hand. Again with the body, Lucero just taking the punishment and trying to duck away. And it's very physically tight punch swinging like it. The best thing, make it miss completely. That way he loses his balance. You don't block his punches, you just let him miss completely. Pacquiao lands the straight left hand. Again. Would be a threat to knock out 126 pound kingpins, Eric Morales and Marco Antonio Barrera. Your take? I think he would definitely be a threat for both of those guys. You gotta be lively now. Pacquiao landing nearly 60% of his power shots through the first two rounds. And there's more accurate punching from Manny Pacquiao against a pretty tough target. Fights with a little smile on his face, and he's been grinning through most of the first two rounds here. Feeling as though he's in control yeah. against yeah. Emmanuel Lucero. And after that punch, good punch, good punch. he is totally in control. Very comfortable in L.A. You can see there's the left hand that starts to Lucero standing up. Yes. He never saw the punch coming. It was too low to even see it coming. He thought he was probably out of danger by getting that low. Gives you a pretty good idea as to how heavy are Manny Pacquiao's hands. Yes, and he's good focus and concentration too. And the referee stoppage was aimed at protecting Lucero from another shot because Lucero was a sitting duck target there for oh, Pacquiao. Yeah. Pacquiao was timing his movement, and in just a matter of time, he timed exactly where he figured he would move his head, and he moved right into position. So Manny Pacquiao stretches his record to 37 wins, two losses, one draw. How long will he remain in the 122-pound division? When will he move up and look for big money against much bigger names at 126? Well, whenever he does decide to move. Lucero had a great style if uh, people were throwing coins into the ring, and he was trying to pick them up. But it was not, it was not of style on this level of prize fighting. The IBF Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, Manny.